The Lydia Thorpe train wreck shows no signs of slowing down. Today, the Prime Minister was forced to defend his comments, which merely suggested the independent senator seek help. I hope that Lydia gets um, some support. Um, I think that that level of behaviour is quite clearly unacceptable and I think there are obvious issues uh, that need to be dealt with. This was, of course, after she was filmed abusing punters outside a strip club in the early hours of the morning. You know what I say? You know what I say yeah. to you? Yeah. You know what I say to you? Yeah. And you? You're you a small racist penis. Oh, you small penis. penis. Oh. You now, Thorpe, instead of heeding some pretty good advice, in my opinion, smacked back, labelling Albanese a racist and misogynist. She said, saying I need some mental help is a continuation of the old racist and misogynistic narrative used to discredit and silence outspoken and strong women, particularly black women. Now, he never specifically referred to her mental health and his comments had nothing to do with her race or her gender. To be honest, he probably should have gone much harder given her public position, behaviour and concerning pattern of it. I think he was almost too kind in his assessment. Today, he was asked if he stood by his comments. I hope that, that people, if she needs help, that she gets help. I, I've got to say that if a mate of mine uh, had been the subject to of multiple uh, public events, uh, as has occurred with Senator Thorpe, uh, my concern was just a human one. I, I hope that these incidents stop. They, they are not. Uh, appropriate uh, for any member of the public, let alone a member of the Senate. If saying an elected senator who is swearing and abusing people outside a strip club needs some help is racist and misogynistic, then we are all in a whole world of trouble. Say what you like about the Prime Minister, but he's not a misogynist and he's certainly not a racist. Even those who oppose The Voice would struggle to defend that label in court. And on the misogyny element, I am so sick of women using that as a weapon to silence men. A misogynist, by definition, is a person who dislikes, despises or is strongly prejudiced against women. Now, believe you me, they exist. I know, I've met a few firsthand. But you cannot just throw out the term willy-nilly when you don't like what someone has to say to or about a woman, an individual, especially if they're calling out bad behaviour or having a heated debate with a woman who is giving as good, if not better, than she's getting. Now, there was a great example of this and it happened on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, the Channel 10 reality show. And yes, I know, this is probably the first time any of it has gotten a look in on Sky News, but I promise it's for a purpose. And the only reason I was watching is because I've got a four-year-old daughter who loves the food challenges. I promise you that's it. So a discussion ensued about Kerri-Ann Kennelly between reality star Dom Calarco and Ian Dicko Dickinson. Dom, and yes, these are the big issues, was annoyed that CAC got to bring makeup into the jungle. Take a look. Why does she think it's okay that she gets makeup and no one else does get skincare and makeup? They might be putting her on the spot a bit. But well, that's why she's asking the question. It's a valid question, Dom. Why don't you try and find a way of couching that in a way that's not overly combative and not disrespectful? I don't think that the question's disrespectful. You should ask that question, because that's your right. And I know she's big uh, enough and bad enough to deal with it. No, nah, whatever. Well, don't be like that. That's childish. We're having a discussion. I'm, I'm you are. You're shutting down when you should be discussing. To ask Why would it, I ask we'll back you when you're standing there telling me it's an aggressive question? OK. Now, I know Dom. She's a firebrand. She doesn't hold back. In fact, this was her on Married at First Sight. Is she serious? I think, like, for me, I... No, 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 no. Like, my entire I have life... I don't have that my body... So, when this happened to Dicko after that discussion I just showed you in the jungle, it really annoyed me. Do you think so, I was out of order? Yeah, I, I would like time. to say that, Dicko, because you may not have known that, 
but from my point of view, there was a big, strong male voice and a, a tiny, compromised female voice. Right. And that made me feel really, really uncomfortable. So that but tiny female voice that made a name for itself on the biggest TV show in Australia for acting like that. S sorry, what? He did nothing wrong in that instance. And it's offensive to women to imply that we are all so weak and meagre that we are incapable of participating in a heated debate or discussion with a man without being the victim, unable to hold our own. That a male voice is scary. Yes, men can be misogynistic. They can cross lines, they can be inappropriate, they can intimidate. And when they do, they should be called out every single time. Held to account, absolutely. But when it's done unfairly and used as a weapon or as a tool to silence, it makes a mockery of all of us. And it hurts women more than it will ever help us.